So MediaTek just launched the successor of the MediaTek Dimensity 720, the MediaTek Dimensity 725. And I must say, it's a good upgrade because it now features faster CPU, faster GPU, faster NPU, faster ISP and many more. But you know, it is still not at the level of mid-range because of its features and benchmarks, which I will discuss in details in this video. So what this review till the end? Well, MediaTek is launching a lot of good chipsets this year and smartphone manufacturers really should consider moving to their chipset because they are cheap and offer top-of-the-line performance in features in this budget class. And this MediaTek Dimensity 725 is one of them. So yeah, if you are planning on buying your next budget smartphone, then you should really watch this video till the end because this chipset has top-of-the-line features in this class. So without wasting any time, Let's move on to the benchmarks. So, MediaTek Dimensity 725 boosts good performance in its class. In Intuito version 10, it has achieved a total score of 495,066 points, which is about 5% higher than the last year MediaTek Dimensity 720 chipset. Now, if I break down these scores, then the CPU achieved 162,544 points, the GPU achieved 78,489 points, the memory achieved 118,543 points and lastly the UX achieved 135,490 points summing up to a total score of 495,066 points well the chipset CPU is really doing well in terms of benchmark scores but you know the GPU is a little bit slower if you compare it to the competitors however it's not going to be a big issue because I know most budget users will not play a lot of games on these budget class smartphones but they will use it for daily tasks and social media. So for that, this chipset is very good. Well, you saw, the CPU is very fast. And because of that, the Geekbench 6 benchmarks also shows good performance in this class. I mean, in single core, this chipset has achieved 1024 points, which is about 16% faster than the previous model, the MediaTek Dimensity 725. And in multi-core, this chipset achieved a total score of 2472 points, which is about 8% higher than the last year, MediaTek Dimensity 720. And this is very good for this upper budget chipset. And as I told you, this performance is largely due to its CPU architecture. So the Dimensity 725 features an octa-core CPU configuration, including two ultra-high performance cores based on core Codex S78 clock at 2.5 GHz and 6 power efficiency cores based on Codex A55 clock at 2 GHz. This chipset is based on DSMC 6 nm processor technology and have about 10 billion transistors, which is insane for this upper budget chipset. And you know what? This chipset only consumes about 4 watts of power, making it more efficient and helping smartphones to maintain a long battery life. This MediaTek Dimensity 725 chipset utilizes ARM version 8.2-A instruction set architecture. Now, on the GPU front, the Dimensity 725 features IMG BXM-8-256 from PowerVR IMG GPU architecture. Really? What's up with the names? Alright, this GPU operates at a frequency of 950 MHz and the GPU includes 8 execution units, 18 shading units, and 144 shaders. And this GPU also supports Vulkan version 1.3, OpenCL 2.0, and DirectX 12. Plus, because of the Cortex S78 cores, this chipset is really doing well in terms of gaming and graphical capabilities. Now, MediaTek is also talking about the gaming performance of this chipset. But after seeing this chipset's graphical scores, I would say it's not good at gaming as MediaTek claims. In the Hyper Engine Gaming, they've only talked about Wi Fi and 5G, on which I am a little bit confused because I don't think that Wi Fi and 5G are going to help in performance that much. So it's just not that useful in gaming. You know what it's useful? For you to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a review video like this one. Now, if I talk about the RAM and storage, the MediaTek Dimensity 725 features an upper mid range level storage and RAM configuration. With its quad channel LPDDR4X and LPDDR5 RAM with a memory frequency of 2133 for LPDDR4X and 3200 MHz for LPDDR5. And this chipset supports a maximum RAM size of up to 16 GB. And for storage, the Dimensity 725 features UFS 2.2 and UFS 3.1 for lightning fast read and write speeds. And this chipset has a maximum memory bandwidth of 51.2 gigabits per second, which is impressive. Well, this chipset offers two RAM and two storage options, as you saw. And I think the higher one is for mid-range and the slower one is for budget. 
so that is really good now let's talk about the features of this chipset the display capabilities of this chipset are i would say average now Regarding the camera capabilities, this chipset features triple 14-bit RAW ISP. Also, this chipset supports a single camera of up to 200 megapixels and can shoot videos at 2K at 30 frames per second and can also play back at the same resolution. So, this is very good for a budget chipset. But I still don't understand this. I mean, if a chipset supports 200 megapixel camera and still cannot record at 4K, well, I don't get the point of the MediaTek here. Giving 200 megapixel camera and can one shoot at 4K, I will just say that it's useless. Chipset manufacturers should really consider because it's 2024. Everyone wants 4K videos. Well, regarding connectivity, the MediaTek Dimensity 725 excels in connectivity with its 5G modem, which offers download speed of up to 2770 Mbps and upload speed of up to 1200 Mbps. Additionally, it also supports Wi Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.3. And that brings me to my final verdict. If the graphical performance of this chipset were a bit faster, then it would have been the best chipset in this upper budget category. But it's slower in graphics and gaming. Plus, don't expect this chipset to be heavy because it's not. And that is the biggest misconception in games. Because they think that when a new chipset launches, it will have better graphical performance. And I know they are not wrong, but if you compare most of the chipset today to their competitors, there is only about 5 to 10 percent of a performance gap in the gaming performance. So, yeah, for social media and light gaming and light usage, this chipset is very good at this budget option. Plus, this chipset is going to be launched in many budget smartphones. And I highly recommend it for light gaming, light usage, and for social media. So yeah, this was the full link of the MediaTek Dimensity 725. If you learned something from this video, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to not miss a new video from my channel. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So my name is Samza, this is Headstack, and see you in the next video. If you want to watch the full review of the MediaTek Dimensity 6300, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review of the MediaTek Dimensity 9300, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.